All right, welcome to the tapintoteamminds.com Dropbox tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about Dropbox, what Dropbox can do for you, and, uh, and, and basically how to share a Dropbox folder, which is a huge feature that we use in my classrooms in order to allow the students to create their digital portfolio so they can work on the iPads, save all their content, whatever it may be, if it's a PDF file, if it's uh, you know another movie, whatever they've done, picture, they can save it up to their Dropbox file. And if they've shared a Dropbox folder with someone else, those people will automatically see their files as well through the Dropbox syncing process. So uh, let's get started here. If uh, we head to dropbox.com, there's a link right on uh, my tapintoteamminds.com website as well. But we'll jump in there. Um, at the beginning, this video here is pretty great on their on their uh, login screen. Quick tutorial on uh, what Dropbox can do for you. Really, really cool to watch here. But uh, we're going to focus on sharing a folder. So we'll click on sign in. If you have an account, you're good to go. Otherwise, you're going to have to create an account. All you need is your first name, last name, email address, uh, a working email address as well because you're going to have to verify the account before you can uh, save or share a folder and you can create a password so whatever uh, password you choose so really quick process I'm gonna sign in here you're gonna notice when I sign in I've got quite a few files um, and, and that's simply because I use Dropbox quite a bit um, something to keep in mind as well is that all your Dropbox folder or files here while they're stored in the cloud or online, my computer automatically syncs. If you see at the top of my page here, or at the top of the screen, I have a little Dropbox with a check mark. That's showing that all my drop fi Dropbox files are up to date on this particular computer. So just uh, keep that in mind. You can download this as an app onto your computer, which I highly recommend. I use it all the time. I save all my important documents there. It's very secure and uh, it goes with me everywhere, including on my smartphone, iPad, um, and even work computers. So um, taking a quick peek here, first off, just to show you, uh, when I open up my Finder window here, you'll see um, here's my Dropbox. It appears like a regular folder on my computer. So you'll see a bunch of different folders here. It's like a regular folder. It's in my, my documents folder on my computer. And all these files, whatever I see here in this folder, I can also log in to the website, dropbox.com, and see them here. So if I change something on the website, that same folder or file will automatically change on my computer as long as I'm connected to the internet. All right, so if there's a green check, here or if I change a file you'll notice that it will uh, it'll show kind of like a, a spinning um, a spinning wheel that just shows it's it's updating the files so um, something to consider I'll, uh, I'll show you that process in uh, in a few minutes here so what I did before uh, before we started the video I did create a shared folder already but I just want to show you the process so if I come over here to share a folder I'll give it a click I can uh, create a new folder and share it, or I can share an existing folder. So if you have a folder with a bunch of documents in it, and that is the folder that you're looking to share, so this could be in the middle of the semester, um, you could be using Dropbox and just haven't utilized the sharing function. You can do do this at any time. It's not going to, uh, you know, there's not really a big, big uh, drawback to doing it um, in the middle of the semester. So really quick. So in this case, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to say the last name is Smith-John. I typically have students put their first, their last name first, and then when we click next, oh, and I've already created that one, sorry. So let's say Smith1 as, just for an example. So I did create that same folder before I started the video, um, just to get the ball rolling here, save some time. Um, so I'll say Smith1-John as, as an example here. I click next, and then I can actually add the names or emails. So um, for example, if I wanna send it to myself doesn't seem very logical but just for the uh, sake of an example I could also send to uh, mommy at hotmail.com so who are, hopefully uh, hopefully that is your mom's address um, but you can send it to your mom your dad grandma friends whoever you'd like to have access to your math folder to be able to uh, to see now keeping in mind if I'm a student I'm gonna try to you know refrain from sharing with friends uh, just from the point of view that uh, you know these people you share with can delete files 
Um, now, while you they're easy to recover on Dropbox, it, you know, I would just share with your teacher and uh, and your parents or guardians. So um, that's my recommendation. You could put a little message in there. Hi, Mr. Pierce and Mommy. Here's my Dropbox shared folder for math. And then you can click on share. So when you do that, uh, an email will come up. So I'm, I'm going to do it right now. Um, so I'm actually sharing a new folder. And that little ding, that's my email here to the side of the, the window here. I'm just going to click in. Okay, so once you uh, once you open up that email there, you're going to see um, an email inviting you to that folder. Now, in this case, because it's my own folder, when I click on that, it's going to bring me to the Dropbox website and say, you're already a member of this folder. But for you, once you click on that link, um, it's going to pop open a window for Dropbox. It's going to have you log in if you aren't already and it's going to ask you if you'd like to accept the invitation to the folder. So even if you don't have an account at this point, you can create an account, click accept, and now that folder will be in your Dropbox. So for example, um, we're looking for a folder with a, that starts as Smith or Smith1. So here's that, that shared folder I've created. And you'll notice there's uh, two little people icons on the folder. So that's saying that it is a shared folder. Um, anything that the student shares or, or saves in this particular folder will automatically be synced. Notice my Dropbox syncing right now. I just did some changes uh, as I switched over. So it's actually syncing a file for me as we speak. Um, it'll automatically sync those files with everyone who is, um, who is or has access to that shared folder. So you'll notice when I click in it right now, there is nothing there but I could create or upload a folder right now. You can do it right from the website. You can upload a file. All right, so that's one option. But if you've installed Dropbox on your computer, which is what I suggest is actually installing the application. So install the desktop application by clicking here. It's a quick download, easy install, completely safe. No uh, spam or, uh, or uh, adware on there. Nothing, no problems with that. Um, you'll be able to see all those files on your computer as we just showed a few minutes ago. So here's my Dropbox. If I go down to uh, Smith, or in this case, I have it uh, a little bit different here. Let's organize it a little bit. And here we go. I go to Smith John, give it a click. And inside there, there is nothing. But I can save a file there. So for example, if I create a quick little uh, text document, and I'm just going to go with a new document here. There you go. I'm just uh, just a test file for YouTube video, and I'll uh, I'll save that up. And we're going to save this as test file. And let's go ahead and actually move this to that Smith folder on my computer. So we're going to go to my Dropbox. There it is. And I can actually move it into that Smith folder or move it even anywhere into my Dropbox. So for example, if I move that file into Dropbox, you'll notice that it will be in my list of files. in Dropbox here. And let's, oh, there it is right at the top. So you see that's in my test file. You'll notice that over here at the top, my actual Dropbox folder is being updated. So those files are, are being synced across. And on the website, if I go back to outside this directory, to the main directory, I should be able to see that test file. So if I go down to here we go, testfile.txt. So there it is, and I could download it from that website. But also, once again, if you want to share that with someone, I've got to make sure that I have that. I can move it on the website straight to smith1-john. That would share with all the parents and, and teachers of that particular student. Or I can actually move the file on my own computer. So I could take this file and actually move it into 
uh, Smith John one right on my computer. So when I do that, it will be in here. You might have seen that to the side here that that file disappeared here. But if I go into Smith John on the computer, it's already there as well. So you can see how the, the syncing is pretty quick. It's pretty easy. Um, very, very, very useful for teachers. So I can quickly go in and I can assess student work. Um, so definitely give it a shot if you're a parent reading this or uh, watching this, I should say. Definitely uh, ask your son or daughter to uh, follow the steps for sharing a folder and, uh, and make sure you download that Dropbox app at home. Very useful and uh, it helps uh, keep your, your son and daughter on track. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me through the website uh, at tapintoteenminds.com and uh, I hope to hear from you soon and uh, we'll have some more videos up for you as soon as we can. Thank you very much. Take care.